Teacher fam, today we're going to show you what is Nearpod, how do you get started with it, and how do you put it into Canvas. Actually, Darlene's going to show you. Let's get started. Hi, teacher fam. Uh, I'm going to answer some questions today um, about Nearpod. What is Nearpod? How does it work? And then how do you embed a Nearpod lesson into Canvas? Okay, let's go. So first of all, what is Nearpod? Well, it's a collaborative instructional platform. It merges formative assessment and dynamic media for live and self-paced learning experiences inside and outside of the classroom. Uh, for our virtual learning environment right now, it's been the best tool that I have found. Uh, so that's what it is. Now, how do you use it? First, um, you'll see that I am on the Nearpod website and the navigation over here on the left, the first tab that you see after join a lesson is my library. So I'm in my library and these are lessons that I've either created or have added to my library. I'm going to go over to um, the Art of Persuasion, uh, Ethos, Logos, and Pathos. And as you saw, when I hovered over the um, assignment, it says live participation or student pace. The live participation is so cool because that is you working alongside the student um, by way of when you advance your slide, it also advances the student slide. So that's kind of like Pear Deck, but we're not talking about Pear Deck right now. We're talking about Nearpod. So I'm going to preview this lesson in just a second. But um, what you'll find is when you click live participation, a um, you'll be prompted or the students will be prompted to enter a code. Uh, they'll have the box, the typical box that you'll have um, for students and they enter that and they don't need a subscription to Nearpod, they simply need the code. So that's really fancy. Uh, and um, I'm going to preview this lesson and show you some basics of how this works. So um, the art of persuasion, ethos, logos, and pathos. Once they're inside of the slides and they're, uh, you're advancing through, you'll have your objectives. And so this meets your, your district requirements because you want to make sure that you have objectives listed, listed for your lessons. So you have the objective and the students will see that as well. Uh, and then you have these introductory slides that tell you what prompt you um, and you and the students on what you'll be doing. Uh, they have all types of um, strategies embedded within one lesson. Uh, so they've done the work for you in preparing a very um, robust lesson that kids can learn from. So uh, think pair share. What is an advertisement that stood out to you lately? So you have that question, you move on, and you have what they call open-ended questions throughout each of their slides. The students enter their answers, and then you can also preview those answers as the students are um, writing their responses. So that's also cool. Uh, another feature, there is video. And uh, Nearpod, their lessons already have videos embedded, but then you can also create your own videos and you could do the, um, the thing that Edpuzzle does, which is you can create questions within the videos. And so that's super cool too. Open-ended questions. And so you'll go through each lesson this way. And um, when you're done with the lesson, you will be able to access the reports access responses through the reports tab for grading, for reflection, um, to, to document. You click the tab at the top that says Nearpod and it'll say reports and in session. If you want the report, you click that um, tab. And that's it for um, the basics of Nearpod. The next thing I wanna show you is how to embed um, a student pace Nearpod into Canvas. So I am going to go to Canvas, which I have open. Um, I have my modules here, and let's say that I wanted to put this into Media Literacy Week 2. Uh, I'm going to click my plus sign, click into the Assignment tab there. Um, I'm going to put Ethos, Pathos, Logos. That's my new assignment. Uh, that assignment comes up here at the bottom of week two as a tab. I'll click that and it has no content, so I need to edit. So maybe I want to put in the text box, essential question, 
Um, I want to put the objective. I want to put directions. And then um, maybe I want to put 15 points for this assignment. And then what type of submission? This is where you will put external tool. And then you're going to click find. Um, hopefully if your school is um, using Nearpod, it will be here under your external tool. You may have to add that yourself uh, if this district doesn't have this um, yet or has not done it yet. So usually when I click this the first time, nothing happens. I don't know if there's a connectivity issue, but it always happens. And so I click it again and then they start talking to each other and things work out. It's kind of like a relationship. You have to try twice sometimes. Uh, and so I'm going to find art of persuasion, common fallacies. That's one I'm using, but it's actually this one. And I'm going to click the student paste. I'm going to select it. And then there you have it. And you have now, um, you can put in your dates and things. Um, you have your embedded Nearpod assignment. And it looks so pretty. I just love the way it looks. And then the students will enter their name, uh, join the lesson, and then it'll appear for them. Okay, and that's it. Uh, we will see you next time. Subscribe, leave a comment, um, and give us any suggestions. Thank you.